Hey guys, Derek here from Modern Castle. Which air purifiers are best? In today's video, we're going to discuss what to look for in an air purifier so you can find the best unit for you. Our air purifier recommendations are based on objective testing data from 44 different air purifier reviews that we've completed over the last two years. First up, we're going to discuss which features to look for in an air purifier. If you just want to see our recommendations for the best air purifiers, jump to the end. There are two major factors to consider when shopping for an air purifier, the filter technology and the coverage area. There are essentially two major filter types, HEPA and non-HEPA. HEPA stands for High Efficiency Particulate Filter. HEPA filters remove 99.97% of particulates as small as 0.3 microns. You may see terms like True HEPA, HEPA-like, HEPA-style, and others. Note that these terms have no legal or scientific meaning. Some air purifiers that use these terms may still be very close or even exceeding HEPA standards, while others are far behind. When shopping for a HEPA purifier, look for the 99.97% particulate removal rating. That is the primary indicator of whether or not it meets HEPA standards. Non-HEPA filters are anything that isn't HEPA. These could be paper filters, plastic filters, ionizers, pico filters, and others. Non-HEPA doesn't mean it will be a poor performer. Technologies vary widely, and we aren't going to cover all of them here. However, among the 44 purifiers we've reviewed, non-HEPA filters generally perform worse compared to HEPA when the price point is similar. Next, let's talk about coverage area. This is simply the square foot area that the air purifier is recommended for. For the majority of air purifiers, the greater the airflow generated by the internal fan, the greater the coverage area is going to be. Lastly, some purifiers offer convenience features like smart home integration, app connectivity, auto mode, and more. For many consumers, these factors are nice to have and help make the purifier more convenient. However, in most cases, they will not dramatically impact purification performance. We're going to discuss these features when present, but in our view, they are not as important as the filter and coverage level. Next, we're going to dive into our recommendations on the best air purifiers. All air purifiers featured in today's video have gone through our standard air quality performance test. We use a laser-based particulate meter to evaluate the purifier's performance by measuring PM2.5, PM10, total particulates, and the air quality index. First up, we're going to focus on the best air purifiers for extra-large coverage areas. These air purifiers are capable of purifying spaces 1,000 square feet or larger. They are ideal for open concept areas or entire homes. Our top recommendation is the Aronsi mod. The mod performed extraordinarily well in our test, reducing PM2.5 to 0.1. Its powerful airflow allows it to purify spaces up to 1,250 square feet. The mod uses a medical grade MERV 17 HEPA filter, capable of removing particulates as small as 0.02 microns. In addition, it incorporates an activated carbon filter to reduce odors. The mod utilizes variable fan speed, a Japanese electronically commutated motor, glass display, and a virtually unheard of 10-year warranty. There's no smartphone connectivity or auto mode, but these features are hardly missed when you look at the raw power and build quality of this machine. The Aronsi mod is truly an exceptional air purifier. Next, we have the Molecule Air Pro. In our test, the Air Pro reduced PM2.5 to 0.3. Its robust size allows it to purify spaces up to 1,000 square feet. The Air Pro's design and materials allow it to stand out with a sleek aluminum housing and matte white base. Notably, Molecule uses a Pico filter instead of a more traditional HEPA filter. Pico stands for photoelectrochemical oxidation. It's a type of purifying technology that breaks down particulates as opposed to just trapping them. The Air Pro is a good option if you want a modern, high-end aesthetic while also looking for something other than typical HEPA filtration. Check the link in the description if you're interested in purchasing any of the purifiers we featured today. Next, let's talk about air purifiers for large coverage areas. These air purifiers are capable of purifying spaces 500 to 1,000 square feet. They're ideal for large rooms, small homes, and apartments. First up, we have the fourth generation Dyson PureCool. The fourth gen PureCool is available as a tower with the TP04 model or as a desk form factor with the DP04. In our purification test, the TP04 achieved a PM2.5 level of 0.2, and the DP04 achieved a PM2.5 level of 0.3. Airflow is similar on both units, and both are capable of purifying spaces up to 800 square feet. The TP04 and DP04 purifiers both use a HEPA and carbon filter. 
They both can connect to your smartphone, integrate with Alexa, and include a remote control. If you want the ability to cool, purify, and heat your space, Dyson also offers their HP04, dubbed the Dyson Pure Hot Plus Cool. The HP04 is similar in performance to the DP04 and TP04, but also doubles as a space heater. Next on our list is the Rabbit Air Minus A2. The Minus A2 achieved a PM2.5 of 0.1 in our purification test and is capable of purifying spaces up to 815 square feet. In addition to its fantastic performance, it offers smart home integration, app connectivity, and six layers of filtration, including HEPA and carbon. It's a fantastic machine that looks as good as it performs. Moving on, we have the Lavoit LVH133. The H133 achieved a PM2.5 of 0.1 in our tests and it is able to purify spaces up to 538 square feet. It has one of the largest HEPA filters we've tested to date and it includes an equally large fan to drive air through it. The simple design and basic aesthetic may not be much to look at, but the price point is very low for this level of performance. Our last recommendation for the 500 to 1000 square foot category is the Rabbit Air Bio GS 2.0. In our test, it was able to achieve a PM2.5 of 0.3. In addition, it's rated to clean spaces up to 625 square feet. In many ways, this is simply a slightly less advanced version of Rabbit Air's Minus A2 mentioned earlier. The Bio GS 2.0 covers a smaller area and it only has five filter layers rather than the six. The Bio GS 2.0 does not include smartphone connectivity, but performance was excellent and the price point is still quite reasonable for the filter stack. Next, we're moving on to medium area coverage purifiers that purify spaces up to 250 to 500 square feet. These types of air purifiers would be great in large rooms like a master bedroom, living room, or kitchen. First, we have the Coway Mighty AP1512HH. The Coway Mighty improved PM2.5 to 0.3, and it is capable of purifying spaces up to 360 square feet. The Coway uses a four filter stack, including HEPA, pre-filter, carbon filter, and ionizer. In addition, it includes an auto mode that can sense air quality and adjust fan speed accordingly. The Coway Mighty isn't the most advanced, but it combines a large number of noteworthy convenience features alongside proven filter technology, all culminating in an excellent performer. Next, the Lavoit Vital 100. In our test, it was able to reduce PM2.5 to 0.3, and it can purify spaces up to 500 square feet. Like most Lavoit air purifiers, it's fairly basic in its design. No smart integration, no auto mode, and no fancy filters. It's a white box with a reasonably high power fan, HEPA filter, and carbon filter. Where it really excels is value. Given the price point to performance ratio, the Vital 100 is another excellent air purifier from Lavoit. Our final top pick for the 250 to 500 square foot category is the Tassat KJ350G. Tassat is a relatively new brand, but we were impressed with their performance and build quality. During our test, the KJ350G was able to achieve a PM2.5 of 0.2 and is rated to cover 310 square feet. Tassat includes four filter levels, including pre-filter, carbon filter, H13 HEPA, and UV light. In addition, it includes a particle sensor, auto mode, and sleep mode. Tassat is another reasonably priced purifier that offers a fantastic value. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. You'll get automatic updates. It really goes a long way to helping our channel and you can change your mind in the future. Last up, we have air purifiers that cover 250 square feet or less. These purifiers are best suited for small areas like a single small to medium bedroom or office. These purifiers are also the most budget friendly due to the small coverage area. Yet again, Lavoie has a good option in this range with their Lavoie Core 300. In our air purifying test, it was able to reduce PM2.5 to 0.4 and it can purify spaces up to 219 square feet. The Core 300 uses a HEPA and carbon filter and it includes three fan speeds and a timer. It lacks an auto mode, smart integration, and other more advanced features, but it performed well in our test, especially when you consider the price. Next, we have the Germ Guardian AC4825E. This tower air purifier reduced PM2.5 to 0.5 in our test, and it is able to purify spaces up to 167 square feet. It uses both a HEPA filter and a carbon filter, which helps reduce odors. It lacks an auto mode, but still includes a quiet mode, three fan speeds, and a UVC bulb. It's one of the most reviewed and purchased products we've tested to date, and it's easy to see why. The Germ Guardian strikes a nice balance of features, performance, and price. 
Last, we have the Molecule Air Mini and Air Mini Plus. These compact air purifiers performed well in our test, with the Mini achieving a PM2.5 rating of 0.3. Both the Mini and Mini Plus are rated to purify spaces up to 250 square feet. The Mini air purifiers utilize a Pico filter, which is a light based filtration technology proprietary to Molecule. The Mini Plus is more expensive than the Mini, but it adds a particulate sensor enabling auto mode. Like the Molecule Air Pro we mentioned earlier, the Mini and Mini Plus are a good choice if you prefer something other than HEPA filtration. Well, guys, that is it for our best air purifiers roundup. On screen now, we're bringing up a complete comparison table with all of the air purifiers we've discussed today. You can pause the video now if you need time to read through the performance metrics. If you'd like to see our complete reviews or comprehensive testing data on any of the air purifiers we've featured today, please visit us over at moderncastle.com. We have deep dive reviews on all these air purifiers, as well as other comparisons, best of guides, and more. Well guys, that is it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Do you own any of these air purifiers? We'd love to hear what you think. And of course, if you have any questions, drop us a comment down below. Check the link in the description if you're interested in purchasing any of the products that we featured today. For more from Modern Castle, be sure to get subscribed, ring that bell, and visit us over at moderncastle.com. As always, thank you so much for watching.